Hi, today we're going to do an experiment where we explore our senses. Uh, this is something I do with the second grade, but it would work for uh, any grade, I think. And let's see, what are the, can you guys name your five senses? Um, hearing, smelling, seeing, and touching. And tasting. Tasting. And what's really important is with your sense of taste, your eyesight, your sense of vision is really important with your sense of taste because when you see food and it looks really delicious, then it's probably gonna taste really delicious. But if you see a delicious meal and it looks like it's a pile of worms or something, then your brain is gonna be sending signals to your, to your, your eyes are gonna be sending signals to your brain saying, oh, this is awful food, don't eat it, even if it's really delicious. So your eyes are really important with your sense of taste. And your nose is also very important. What happens if you have a cold, Andy, and you try and eat and you got a stuffy nose? You can barely taste anything, right? So you have to be able to smell too when you use your when you have your sense of taste. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try and identify some odors without being able to see them. And we'll see that that's kind of challenging sometimes. So what we're gonna what we need for this um, are some interesting smelling things like we have cinnamon here and some coffee grounds, those are really good. Some garlic powder, this one is really stinky, isn't it? some vanilla, uh, you can take a, a lemon or a lime and, and, or an orange and zest it and put some zest in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to make these little, uh, these little cups for smelling and all we need is a plastic cup and we'll shake in, we'll add in some of our, some of the thing we want to have as an odor. Okay, and then what really helps is if you add on top of this, you add some wet cotton balls. So I have some cotton balls here and I'm going to get them wet. And what this does is it does a couple things. First of all, it holds the powder stuff in place so that it doesn't uh, it doesn't shake around and won't spill. It gives a little weight so it won't tip over so easily. And it smells stronger, doesn't it? Now, when you have the water in there. So the water vapors are helping to carry those odors. Okay, so we'll put some wet cotton balls in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a coffee filter and we're just going to place it in there so that it's hidden and the and the kids can't see what it is they're smelling. So a couple Too pieces late. of tape, I know. You, so you can't let them see you prepare. So a couple pieces of tape to hold that in. And now we have a beautiful uh, smelly cup and we can, we can demonstrate to them how we shake it up a little and then sniff it and that way the kids aren't touching it with their noses and they can share them. Uh, but if you tip it over, it doesn't spill. Okay, and so what I did was I prepared a bunch of cups with, and I put numbers on them. Uh, if you're using Sharpie markers, make sure you do that well ahead of time so it has plenty of time to dry because the Sharpie marker is gonna smell pretty bad. And then what I have the kids do is uh, I give them a handout with some boxes for the different odors where they can write down what they think it is. And I have a list of the various odors that it might be so that they get a little lesson in spelling and identifying things. And of course, you can have them work in groups or help them out if they get stuck. Um, but uh, what do you think that one is? Coffee. Coffee, yeah. A lot of kids love the coffee flavor, the vanilla flavor. A lot of kids think vanilla kind of t smells like chocolate or something sweet, something with baking. It's amazing. Some The kids who have worked in the kitchen, you can really tell uh, which kids those are because they know their smells right off the bat. So that's kind of a fun experiment. and gets them realizing how important their eyesight is for their sense of smell. And then uh, we play around with um, optical illusions a little bit. I find a website where with some cool optical illusions. There's one that's a real swirly thing and you stare at that for for 30 seconds and then when you look at the palm of your hand it looks like it's crawling and moving around. That's kind of a fun one. So we, we find some optical illusions to look at to explore our sense of vision. And then we talk a little bit about our sense of hearing and we talk about how the way that we make sound is by some kind of vibration and uh, and so instruments use some kind of vibration with a string or with a you know a reed vibrating or air flowing uh, but that vibration will be very very quiet unless it has something there to amplify the sound to make those sound waves so the sound waves travel through the air and reach our eardrums and the vibrations that reach our eardrums are what we perceive as sound but without something to amplify it it's going to be very very quiet so all instruments have some way of making that sound louder and so a really neat example of that is this. This is called a hurdy-gurdy. You want to play the hurdy-gurdy and show how quiet it is in air? So you can barely even hear the music when you play it in air, but if you lean it up against an object, it becomes much louder. 
because now the vibrations are being amplified, they're being carried throughout the plastic table. So it works really well on a window or wood or something like that. Um, a, a bell is a really nice uh, illustration of that where it's very, very loud, but if you stop the vibration, it stops the sound right away. And this is a great little thing that I found of, you know, showing this, this, uh, this coil will vibrate uh, but it doesn't make any sound if it's got no way to carry the sound. But if it, if you let it vibrate through this empty chamber, then all of a sudden it sounds like thunder because it's very, very loud. So a lot of quick and easy things to do to explore your senses with some kids. Uh, give them a nice handout so they have something to take home at the end of the day and uh, have some fun with science. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.